Okay, so first of all, um, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for the, uh, to the organizer for organizing this uh, such a nice uh, um, uh, workshop, and thank you for uh, Alexia and the Austrian team for having uh, lead this uh, agenda project. You know, for uh, for many years, you know, it has been uh, uh, really uh, uh, nice to work with you. So I'm going to uh, to present uh, one work uh, did by the, the French team. Uh, so there are a lot of people that. Involved in this project, uh, including uh, uh, Julien, who just uh, presented, uh, you know, for Canada, and that's why I guess that there are so many <laughs> comparison, you know, between Canada, US, and, and, and France. And it's not only because France is the most beautiful country in the world, <laughs> right? so it's also because it, it was part of the team. So, who pays for uh, the consumption of young and old? Uh, so, as a demographic uh, economist. Uh, 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 we know that the answer. Huh? I would say that uh, who pays it? It's people in their active age. You know, it's, uh, it, it, and it's true. Even though some uh, people who uh, who did retire will tell you that it's not true, but it, it, that they do pay for themselves. You know, using their own saving. But mostly, we would say that people that do work are going to finance uh, uh, those who are uh, uh, not working, and that could be the young or the older uh, within the population. But beyond the, the demographic view, uh, of course, there are three channels to finance uh, uh, those who are uh, economically inactive. So there could be the state, uh, um, or uh, let's say the government, or let's say or what, what, what would be what would, could be called the, the public sector. Uh, you know that uh, through net transfers. Uh, and indeed, uh, economically inactive people are going to be net receivers of those uh, of those transfers. Uh, that could be the individual themselves uh, that do finance um, uh, through their income. Uh, that could be labor income, but that could be also asset income uh, that could finance their uh, own um, consumption. And uh, and finally, uh, the, 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 the family uh, through, uh, through uh, interdivos uh, transfer. So so my objective uh, is to uh, is to assess uh, what is the relative importance uh, for a given age group of those uh, three channels. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to also address, you know, an uh, um, issue uh, that you could find uh, in the public de debate. Uh, if, you, if, if you ask to, uh, um, uh, you know, let's say, normal people, you know, in society, or uh, even a journalist or a politician, they would simply say that uh, population aging is going to create a, a big problem on public finance, uh, you know, because uh, there will be more and more old people, and therefore you will have to finance those people, and therefore uh, they are going to grab or to, uh, to, to get a larger and larger part of uh, public finance and, and, and social expenses, uh, and this will be done uh, to, the ex uh, to um, uh, those who, who will lose from this uh, evolution will be the youth. Okay. And uh, so, uh, out of population aging, you could simply have some winners that will be uh, typically the baby boomers, and uh, losers that will be youth uh, that will not benefit for so much support. And I'm going to show that uh, historically in France, uh, over the last uh, 30 years, it's exactly the opposite that happened. Um, so we, we did apply the entire uh, methodology to France over the period that started uh, in the late 70s, you know, till, uh, till now. Uh, so the idea was to, to use uh, many uh, micro surveys and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, public national accounts. And then we created, uh, uh, the main survey that we used was a um, um, uh, family survey, uh, consumer survey, the equivalent of the consumer survey. And uh, so there is uh, seven waves of this uh, survey. So uh, we are using those, uh, those waves. And we created an uh, age uh, profile for uh, 87 uh, variables and uh, over uh, 32 years. And therefore, we, are, we have nearly uh, 300,000 uh, observations. Um, so the, the NTA methodology is, uh, has been developed by, by Ron and NG and all the NTA community and we're happy to be part of, of, of this network. Uh, so it's a rather consistent framework uh, that uh, helps um, um, uh, cross-country comparison. Uh, we have done some, uh, we have seen some of those uh, this morning, but it all could also be used in order to, to, me, uh, to make some uh, time comparison. So there is a, a key uh, uh, accounting uh, identity, um, which is uh, 
uh, uh, uh, at the personal uh, level. Huh? So you do have some labor income plus capital income plus some transfers that you will receive huh? even from, from your family or from the, the public sector that should be equal to your consumption saving and uh, the transfers that you are going to pay, including taxes, for instance. So we are going to group those variables in order to see what, what, uh, who, who, who is going to finance uh, your consumption at a given age, uh, which is uh, age A here. So we group uh, individual uh, you know, means to, to finance consumption, which is basically uh, uh, labor income and asset income minus private savings. Uh, the state, uh, the, which will be uh, uh, public transfers that you are going to receive minus uh, public transfers that you are going to pay, and, uh, and family, uh, which is the net uh, transfers that you are going to receive. Uh, so there are many, many variables. Um, so you have this consumption that could be public and private, and Ron explained this uh, this morning. So we, we do include, let's say, our public education, public health, and then care also. And we do also include some uh, imputed rents, which is a uh, which is really an issue when you, you are um, uh, following you know, the process over uh, 30 years because of the, the increase of uh, housing prices. And then you, you do have the individual with labor income, private uh, asset income, uh, state, family, and so on. And uh, I'm listing some of the variables, but uh, keep in mind that we have uh, 87 <laughs> variables and uh, mostly also from the tax system uh, because the imagination of uh, uh, of the French government to create new taxes is like uh, there is no limit. So uh, <laughs> we, have, we have many, many kinds of taxes uh, who have followed this. So this is a uh, uh, consumption, you know, in 2011 in France, um, um, described in various sources. Uh, uh, the, the, the orange part is a. Uh, uh, also private, but we also made this kind of decomposition within seven uh, groups of uh, consumption goods uh, in, in order to, to distinguish everything. And then, so I'm not going to spend much time, so, but this is a, more or less the shape and the decomposition in 2011. And then you could have those uh, founding sources uh, according to the decomposition I, I proposed uh, a minute ago. Uh, so you see that. Uh, um, uh, you, you start uh, for, uh, for age, at age zero and you go at age uh, 20 and more or less 100% of your consumption will be financed by someone else. Uh, so that, that, that could be the, the blue, uh, basically the, the state, uh, which is prominent at the very beginning and then that decreases uh, and, uh, and, 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 and then the green appears, which is uh, the involvement of uh, families uh, uh, here. We have not introduced uh, an uh, unpaid work, but it could be done. And then, at some age, you know, your uh, uh, the position becomes uh, uh, very uh, the, 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 the pattern becomes much more different because uh, individual resources uh, could finance more than your consumption. Okay, and this is uh, the start of, of the transfer. And you see that for the retiree, it's part, you know, individual resources and uh, and part of the states that are going to to finance this one. Um, Concerning the evolution of consumption, you know, total consumption over time, you know, you, you have this kind of, uh, of a figure, you know, starting from uh, uh, in, in the 80s, you know, uh, uh, from this uh, blue line and then moving up. Uh, so there are a lot of discussion on whether the increase is larger for some age. I feel this is not so interesting, uh, but, uh, but uh, within the public debate, we do have this one. So what is important is that here we have uh, everything in uh, in uh, constant euro, and uh, what I, I want to bring to your attention is uh, that if you compute the same uh, you know graph, uh, but dividing with respect to GDP, you know each uh, age, uh, quite the consumption at each age, uh, then you you obtain something which is rather flat, uh, quite, uh, rather uh, constant, I would say. Huh? And there is some uncertainty, you know, about our profile. Huh? There are not so many uh, people in uh, the survey, so we could say safely that uh, it, the, the the shape of the consumption over such a long period has been remarkably stable. Um, also, if you comp compute uh, the age, the first and last age to which individual resources uh, is higher than total consumption, it has been also uh, remarkably uh, 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 stable. So here, I'm not computing really, uh, let's say, the, the life cycle. Right? It's, a, it's a kind of uh, 
it's a it's an age at which consumption is lower than uh, your uh, uh, labor and asset income. Uh, uh, you know, and you see that uh, you 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 become, let's say, economically independent. Uh, uh, at, um, at the age of uh, 20 at the very beginning, and then it increased a little bit, but since uh, 2000, it's, uh, it's remarkably stable, and the increase was not so large, like only two years. And, uh, and, um, and, and, uh, uh, and you, uh, you, 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 the end of your, uh, let's say, life as an economic independent agent, you know, uh, uh, finish at, 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 um, at 59, you know, in this, uh, in this kind of computation. So it's uh, another um, uh, strong stability that we do find, uh, you know, in those, uh, in those, uh, uh, in, in those data. So stability is a bit depressing and because you, you, you wonder why you should do all those computations for so many years if you obtain something which is always the same. And uh, that's why we are happy with this uh, funding issue because then there is a very important uh, change over time. So those are the funding sources for consumption before 25. Okay. At age you are not economically <laughs> active. And uh, so there are three colors. Uh, um, green is the family, um, uh, red is individual resources, and blue is the state. And what is really, really important, you know, in this uh, picture, you know, for France, for uh, youth in France, is an uh, increase in the involvement of uh, the state and also the family, you know, over the period. Uh, if, you, if you look at uh, what happened, you know, for for, 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 for state, and it was only nearly 32% uh, at the very beginning uh, of the period, whereas it's now 45% of your total consumption that is financed by the state. So, so it's like a, 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 it, in, it increased by one, by, by one third. And this can be explained very easily by the increasing involvement you know, of youth in, uh, in education you know, in France, which is uh, funded by the state. So this is very large, and this is very, and also the, the involvement of the state, and that do represent 36%, is, is quite different from, uh, uh, from, uh, from one country to another one. You know, if you compare to, to the US, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the, the share, of course, um, the importance of uh, involvement of the, uh, the, the federal government is, is still there, huh? like, in the US and Japan, but if you think about Sweden, for instance, uh, the, the involvement is, 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 uh, is much less uh, in Sweden or Germany, and of course UK and China, uh, it's mostly the family that do finance the consumption of, uh, of, uh, of, um, uh, uh, of the youth. Huh? So there are strong cross-country differences in, in that respect. I now move to uh, the funding of consumption for those who are 60 plus. Um, uh, so um, uh, here, contrary to what people might think, you know, uh, the, the, the importance of the state, huh, which is in blue here, has been declining over time. You know, it was 68 percent of consumption. You know, in the in the late 70s, whereas it is now. Uh, uh, 61 person. Uh, um, personal income still play a role in order to finance your consumption. And what has been changed is a, a, a negative family transfer. Huh? It's as if uh, uh, the withdrawal of the state, you know, has been. Uh, <laughs> have no correlation and no causality, of course, uh, uh, as a statement, but uh, it's as if, you know, the reduction of the importance of the state uh, is associated with a reduction of uh, 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 downward uh, family support. And if you compare uh, countries, uh, uh, then you will see uh, uh, Sweden uh, first uh, with a very prominent uh, uh, state, you know, for the funding of the of the old and, and from the big less. And once again, there are some uh, big uh, differences. Uh, sorry for the colors, because now, so now the state is in the red. Huh? <laughs> so it's a bit misleading. Um, so um, 
uh, as a conclusion, so uh, we had a, a rather stable consumption across age as a share of GDP uh, over such a long period. Uh, it has been uh, found also some stable age to enter and leave uh, economic independence uh, when uh, consumption is larger than personal income. But uh, there was a very important uh, change in who finance the consumption of the young and the old. Uh, so this is the main message. Uh, as a project, we aim at uh, including uh, inheritance and public debt in the picture. You know, uh, we are only uh, using those uh, flow uh, identity, and, and therefore uh, this uh, this part is uh, is missing. Uh, the link is not so easy to make. But also, we are we are using those time series in order to build some uh, pseudo cohort uh, in order to get some uh, and uh, apply some econometric method uh, the well known uh, age called period method in order to, uh, to to define what could be a, a stable profile and uh, rather than using one or another profile it could be better to get a profile where you have uh, eliminated, for instance, here it's a age profile for consumption, but we did eliminate um, um, uh, 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 cohort and uh, period effects. You know, so you have so you are using the temporal dim dimension, you know, of your uh, of your data set uh, in order to set up something uh, which looked like that and you you see so this is a consumption for instance with imputed rents and you you see this large increase over the life cycle till age 65 more or less and then the stability of consumption so um, um, so this is also a kind of a, um, a research that we are involved in so thank you very much Thank you, Pauline. Ah, in the back. Uh, does France produce good data on asset income? And also, how do you get to the family contribution? So, uh, they are for, uh, uh, for, um, so we are not using the family survey for uh, asset income. We are using a specific survey uh, which is a uh, um, asset uh, enquête patrimoine, uh, in which we uh, we do expect that uh, they are not so poor, <laughs> and uh, 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 there is an issue about uh, inequality. It's all, always the same to you know to, to try to get uh, exactly the the asset income of the very rich, but which is not the focus here. Uh, we do focus on the age differences. So uh, well. Quite so. So it's survey. It's, data. What it, it's, it's survey data. We are not using a tax um, uh, tax bills, which is the alternative. But uh, those survey data has been made, uh, quite, at least in the uh, recent wave, have been made uh, consistent with uh, 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 tax bills. Um, hi, so in, in their book, uh, Social Security Around the World, um, Gruber and Wise document the very large changes in the age of withdrawal from the labor force of French workers as a consequence of the pension reform of François Mitterrand, and I think it was in 1983 when he reduced the retirement age from 65 to 60. Um, and it was a bit of a surprise, and you quite fortunately have NTA profiles that span that retirement reform, mm -hmm. and it's very puzzling. And you know that the effects that Gruber and Wise report are very large. Um, you know, so they illustrate very, very significant changes. But in your um, results, it seems as though the, the effect of that very significant pension reform is quite small. Mitterrand is there, basically, right? um, and, and you see that the involvement of the state. Has increased, you know. That's a, that's the only non-monotonic uh, uh, pattern that we have. Uh, the general picture is that is a, is, a, is that it's a decline, but uh, between uh, our uh, first uh, wave and the second one. Um, but, 
uh, I don't want to infer some causality issues, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's not the purpose, but and there could have been many other uh, elements, but uh, as you said, uh, there was this uh, important reforms, you know, in, in, in France at those times. Yeah, I had a similar question. Uh, of course, I wasn't uh, well informed. I was wondering if you have con you have control of uh, the change of pension eligibility age uh, in those years. For example, that uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, older. So, so uh, uh, here it's not like it's not uh, um, it's not that we compute, you know, our figure. It's simply what we observe. Okay, so. Um, there could be some quite many policy changes, and those are all included, you know, within the data that we are observing. Yeah. So, but so sorry. Explaining uh, what see what are the, the reasons for that decrease, you know. Uh, uh, and, 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 and yes, and since, and since the 90s in particular, there have been many, many reforms, you know, in the, in the, 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 the French uh, public retirement system, uh, including delaying the, uh, the age of retirement, reducing the pension, and so on. And, uh, and you clearly see the, the impact of all those reforms, you know, on, on, on this uh, large decline in the involvement of the, of, of the state. But, uh, but you also have to think about this as a, as a percentage of, of and, uh, and, and, and then, let's say, uh, um, the evolution of the return on your asset could also impact, you know, the proportion of your consumption that is financed by your, uh, by, uh, by your uh, personal income. Thank you. I was impressed by two things in particular. The first thing was uh, your net trends was how do you handle corporate taxation if you impute it to the ages? So that I assume is a large part of uh, funding of income of of the tax so, income. So. My second uh, impression was that your constant change of colors, which kept us really mentally alert. <laughs> Uh, sorry for the colors. Uh, um, uh, uh, concerning the taxes, uh, indeed, as you said, there are some taxes that could not be imputed to a particular ages. And then there are, let's say, uniform.